Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to pick up where we left off. So in the last video, we added back our method so that we could once again add new resolutions. Now in this video, we're going to take it a next step and be able to have our methods for updating and deleting resolutions so that way our app can be fully functional once again. Let's get started right now. So now let's write the rest of our methods to make sure our remove and our update are going to be working as well. So what I can simply do is uh, just come down here and we're gonna have a comma and we're gonna add another method. This method is going to be what happens when you click delete. So we're gonna just copy this resolutions.remove here. And so we can say delete resolution. And again, we're going to have a function here. And this time we're gonna pass it the ID. So I'm gonna paste this in here. Okay, and see how this says this ID? Well, we're not actually referencing this anymore. So what we can just do is say ID. And then up here, we're going to have ID also passed into the delete resolutions. Now, uh, when we use our meteor.call on delete resolution, uh, we're going to pass in this dot ID. So let's change this resolutions that remove and we can say meteor dot call and inside of here quotes delete resolutions comma and we're passing it this ID. So now when we click delete, uh, it's going to call this function delete resolution and it's going to work. So we're in here and let's pull the console up here so we can see if something goes wrong, but we can click delete and it's gone, no errors. Okay, that's good. Update, however, still gonna give us access denied. So let's go ahead and pretty much duplicate what we've been doing and let's grab this resolutions.update and one more, we're gonna just throw it in here and we're gonna say update resolution. It's also going to be a function and it's also going to get an ID. Okay, inside of here, we're going to paste in this update resolutions code. And once again, we're going to change this ID to just ID. Now this is going to be interesting because what we had was the, uh, we wanted check to be equal to the inverse of this dot checked. Uh, so what we want to do is actually do that bit of logic where we're saying reverse this dot checked. We want to do that outside of the update resolutions and we just want to pass it in the value which is essentially just going to be uh, checked, right? So uh, this dot checked uh, is now becoming checked like that. When we call this update resolutions method, we need to pass in the value that is the opposite of this dot checked. So let's come back up here and let's remove our resolutions dot update. And we can just simply say meteor dot call again, inside of quotes, it's going to be update resolution. And we're going to be passing in this dot ID. And then after another comma, we'll pass in uh, exclamation point this dot checked. Let's get rid of these two brackets just like so. So now we're calling update resolutions, we're sending this ID and we're sending the opposite of what this checked is. It's coming down here, it's gonna hit this function, it's going to find the resolution with the ID we're passing it and set the value to what it should be. So let's come to our application here and now we have our read 10 books, we can click this checkbox and it looks like it's persisting and working okay. We're not getting any errors. Okay, so we've now removed insecure and we're now basically having control over our, our method calls to add and remove things from our database, update them, whatever. From here, we can actually check to see if a user is logged in, if a user has a specific username and prevent uh, access from um, potentially adding or removing information that shouldn't be done. Cool, now Insecure has been removed and our application is just a little bit more secure. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about what happens when you remove auto-publish. So keep watching and let's get going on that. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment at the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.